Hello, my name is Leah Aver Smith, and I'm going to talk to you about why digital must be a part of your marketing mix. First question is, what is the definition of digital? Well, it's also called inbound marketing as opposed to traditional marketing. Traditional marketing is usually where a brand is pushing out a message or a certain campaign, while inbound marketing is when customers or potential customers are actually seeking information about a product you offer or your brand through blogs or podcasts or white papers, natural search or social media marketing. And inbound marketing costs 71% less per lead than traditional marketing. The average cost for a traditional marketing campaign is around $346, while inbound marketing average cost per lead is around $135. And inbound marketing tactics don't just generate leads, they also generate revenue. HubSpot did a survey in March of 2012 wherein 62% of companies said that they actually acquired a customer through LinkedIn. And inbound marketing channels have about a 10% higher conversion rate than other channels. And that might be because your customers are one foot in the buying cycle and already seeking the products that you're offering. And this is not to say that it's only inbound marketing that should be considered 74% of B2B. So really the approach should be a multi-channel approach and looking at all of the channels and being there in that preferred channel that your customer likes to receive their information and also getting more juice for your squeeze when it comes to the campaigns that you're creating and how do you disseminate that information amongst all the channels and how do you continue that conversation with your customer if they do get something in the mail and, the, and then go online. And nine out of 10 business buyers say when they're ready to buy, they will find you. And that means your customers are well informed and they're engaging in many conversations before their first conversation with your brand. So how do you proactively insert yourself into that conversation with your customers? Well, let's look at where the conversations are occurring. Now, tofu, mofu, bofu is not something that you find at a vegan restaurant, but rather they're different stages of the sales cycle, top of the funnel, middle of the funnel, or bottom of the funnel and your customers are consuming content at each of these stages. So we want to look at what is the content that you're offering and how are you ensuring that that content is getting to your customers. And during these conversations, your customers are educating themselves about your industry or your products, or they're getting referrals from their network, or consuming branded provided information, and they're doing this via blogs, or getting information shared with them from their network, or doing web searches. And when we looked at B2B marketing behavior and asked these customers, what are they doing before they engage with a brand? A recent survey showed that 81% of them are doing a web search and half of them are getting advice from their peers and almost half of them are engaged in online industry conversations or they're looking at what their thought leaders are saying online and in blogs. Now let's look at website searches. Worldwide, there's over 131 billion website searches a month and 110 of those are an average per person. So how do you ensure that you're showing up on search results? Let's look at two types of search results. And search results uh, are when someone is searching through a search engine, such as Google or Bing or Yahoo. And there's two types of results that are displayed. The first type is search engine optimization, which is natural search. And that's about 70% of where people are clicking. And then there's paid search, which is a, called search engine marketing, SEM, or PPC, which stands for pay-per-click. And that's where 30% of people are clicking. If you look at the graph, 
or screenshot on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see on the lower portion in green, that's natural search. And in these natural search results, 60% of clicks are from the top three results displayed. Let's talk about what a natural search is. Let's take my father's business, for example. He's an optometrist. Now, if someone's searching for his name, Dr. Henteleff, then they, they already know who my father is. And I, and I hope if they search for Dr. Henteleff, he actually shows up there. But what his goal should be is for people that are searching for him that don't know who he is, that might be searching for Studio City Optometrist or neighborhood optometrist, or fashion eyewear, or VSP insurance. And that's what he should start to rank for. Those search engines need to see that he is a content expert in those keywords. So that is your goal, is to become a, a content expert in the eye of the search engine. If we take a look at the top portion, which is paid ads, SEM, that's also very, very key in a search campaign. These are words that you actually pay for and bid on. So he might be bidding on words such as fashion eyewear or studio city or na friendly neighborhood optometrist. And the, the good thing about paid search is that it's, you can get nearly instant results. And it's scalable. You can set a budget. And you can stick to that budget, and you can turn it off and on or dial it up and down as you see fit. And you can also manage those keywords and dial up on the ones that are doing well and dial down on the ones that are not. Let's talk about paid search for a moment and how you can continue that conversation with your potential customer. Best practice proves that you will get increased conversion rates if someone searches for you and lands, and they click on the ad, and they land on a page that continues that conversation. Here's an example of Crystal Cruises, a luxury cruise liner. If someone searches for Mediterranean Cruise, and they click on one of the ads or search result displays, it will take them to a microsite that talks specifically about Mediterranean cruises. If you take that person to a general landing page that talks about all cruises and they're going to have to search again, you run the risk of losing that potential customer. And in terms of the landing page, Crystal Cruises is actually also using that landing page for when they're sending out direct mail pieces. So for an example, a direct mail piece can highlight the Mediterranean cruise and have a link there so when customers go online, again, it takes them to that Mediterranean cruises landing page. Let's go back to natural search, SEO. And what are the four pillars of success that you should be concentrating on to ensure that the search engines are seeing you as an expert in your industry? One technical structure. You want to ensure that the structure behind your website is technically built in such a way that the search engines recognize the content on the page. And that means that the structure behind the scene must be seen by the search engines. So the code behind a website is much like Braille, the search engines. And if it's not done correctly, the search engine is blind to that content. Next is link building. So part of the secret sauce of search engines and how they rate you as a content expert is how not only are you linking to information on your website internally, but how other web assets are linking to you. So for instance, if you create, create dog houses and someone links to your website from maybe a roller skating rink, that's not going to get you points. But if the Society of Dog Breeders links to your website, then the search engines are going to start to recognize you as an expert. And most importantly, it's the content on your website and gaining a steady stream of new visitors to your website by refreshing that website content and by blogging. 
Attracting new visitors is how your blog grows by converting those new visitors into regularly visiting customers. And the reason why blogs are so popular and implemented so often is because it's really easy to actually push content out. You don't need a developer to go into the website code and update content once your blog is set up. It's very easy for anybody to update that content through that blog. And lastly, gaining more conversions by designing based on what your customers are telling you they like. So looking at A, B, or multivariate testing and where to put calls to action and constantly looking at that information to see are you getting those conversions that you need. If the call to action is placed maybe in the upper left-hand corner as opposed to the upper right-hand corner. And getting back to blogs, B2C companies that blog generate 88% more leads more than those who don't and for B2B companies that generate that do that engage in blogs generate about 67 more leads than those who don't. So again that content is king and here are some ideas about how to disseminate that content and channels to disseminate content whether it's a video or whether it's through white papers or blogging. But beware because 75% of B2B executives said that they want less marketing content and more content that helps them build a business case. And if they think that that information is useful, they're going to share it. And 79% will share it through email, or they'll share it through LinkedIn, or they'll share it through Twitter. And if they share it, again, that provides the search engines with more data for their secret sauce algorithm to start to see you as an expert in that content area. And what type of content do business executives like? 88% of them still read white papers on a weekly basis. And 75% of B2B executives are watching videos on a weekly basis as well. And no surprise that video engagement is going up. It was up 13% last year worldwide. And YouTube, which is now Google, is still the top destination for watching videos. And you better be mobile friendly. Over 1.2 billion people access the web from their mobile devices. And 61% of people have a better opinion of a brand when they offer a good mobile experience. And a customer will disengage from a brand for three months if they have a bad mobile experience. And considering email as well, not just your websites, more email is now read on a smartphone than a desktop. And 13% of executives are now primarily checking their email on mobile devices. And if that email doesn't look good, 79% of people will delete it and 18% of the people that receive the email will unsubscribe. So you want to make sure that those emails are mobile friendly where you have large fonts and you're sticking to the 320 by 550 pixel and that you've got thumb friendly buttons. And don't forget the anatomy of an email is very important. You want to make sure, specifically in that golden rectangle, in that preview screen, that people should know who you are, what you want them to do, and have them take an action in that preview screen. And what makes people open up an email? Well, they love the word exclusive. That increases an open rate of about 14%. And they like special offers and real-time delivery tracking and promotions and new product announcements and newsletters. And people like to read their emails in the morning as well. And how does social media play into all this mix? Well, 70% of B2B companies acquire a customer through Facebook, 55% through Twitter, and 51% of them through LinkedIn. And social media helps B2B marketers improve their search results as well. And also, in a study done, 
B2C companies with over 100 followers have about 146% more leads a month than those with less than 100. So it really is important to start engaging in social media, and not just for social media's sake, but you do want to hit what is that passion point of your target audience and try to pinpoint that and create a community around that passion point. And especially for small businesses, more than a third of US small businesses say that social media helps them get found online. And here's an example. This was from Muscle Farm. They cultivated over 300,000 followers. And so this is from a, an example for the nutritional supplement industry, how social media can play a part. So in summary, integrate digital and inbound strategies into your marketing mix. And be a content expert in the eyes of search engines and provide useful content that helps your customers build a better business case. Be mobile and use social to build relationships with your customers. Well, thank you for tuning in.